Until now, snowboards have been made within the limits of traditional manufacturing. This month on ETT, we could quite possibly be giving you a glimpse into the future by building a snowboard on a whole new dimension. You right in front of board? Yep. Print it. This is the world's first 3D printed snowboard. We're here to print out a snowboard. This is every third Thursday. Chance for us to have some fun in our factory, get creative with board design and materials, just get spontaneous, come up with a theme, and build it. I'm here with David, the founder of Grow It 3D, and today we're going to be digital printing a snowboard. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's uh, technology that, like none other, um, a lot of people just can't wrap their heads around it, even when you do see it. A lot of typical manufacturing methods, you're taking a, a block or at least a net shaped object and removing material to get your final shape. Here we're actually taking that 3D final shape, slicing it into very thin layers and adding it layer by layer. That's the reason why Grow It is called Grow It. If you put a time lapse camera on some of these machines, it actually looks like the part is growing out of the platform. Here are a few examples, like this is printed, this, this crescent wrench, and it fully works. It's all one piece, printed on a printer. Jeb and David are finalizing the file. We're about to go print out a snowboard. We're limited on how big we can print currently, so it's going to be printed in actual puzzle pieces. That is our snowboard, that fine powder material. It's a carbon mixture. Yeah, you got scars, but you got savings in your jaw. The laser is being pointed by a bunch of mirrors, and so the, the, there's no actual print head, no actual real moving part in the, the machine other than the mirror that's pointing the laser at the material. A little bit different than our snowboard press, quite a bit different than our snowboard press, where you're taking all these raw materials, sandwiching them together. This is just creating it. It's like magic. Here we go. This is like the paper tray. <laughs> The first puzzle cut of the snowboard right there. So right now, this is very much like slowly excavating the snowboard pieces. All right, we're at the final stages. All pieces are out. Just taking the last of the carbon dust off of them. Then we'll bead blast them, and we'll be ready to put it together. We have all of our pieces here, all ready to be put together. It's a very exciting moment. All of it just pieces together. And then we're going to resin it. So we have the whole board coated in resin, vacuum bagged up, and now we just need to let it sit for like nine hours. Looking at this board, pushing on it, feeling it. I don't know. I really don't. Definitely got a board. She's a little flimsy. <laughs> we obviously didn't get a tight bond in the center of the board here, where it's probably the most important. We went and bought a couple metal strips and Jeb's drilling them out right now. And we're gonna reinforce the board with little metal rods. Sometimes you gotta make it work. We're here in a snowy secret spot in Colorado, back with Matt Guest. We have this crazy board, you ready to check it out? Yeah, I'm pretty hyped on this. This thing is nuts. What? You guys are mad snowboard scientists. Good. We want it to go fast. The only issue we're having with this board right now is speed. We wanted to try it in its rawest form, but if we could have added a centered base, we'd probably have no problem at all. got all these interesting things going on, like this nose is something we've never tried before, where you have this wide nose and then it comes in at a sharp angle and you have kind of a narrower, normal board. And it really does feel good when you're making turns with this big, wide shovel nose.
unbelievable day in the back bowl in Colorado by ourselves, snowboarding on a board printed by laser beams. Dude, it was so fun. So much fun. That's what it's all about. I got it. Ceremonial. <laughs>